What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, back with episode 89 of Room Tour Project, the series where we show off the best setups. This is just to give you guys some ideas, inspirations for your setup. This episode, we are gonna have a single monitor only edition. Kind of switch it up, I like doing themes every now and then, so single monitors only this time around. If you see anything you like, I will have all the products listed down below for you. And feel free to vote for your favorite setup over on the Nice app. I'll have that listed down below as well. You can win an Amazon gift card. So let's start off episode 89. First, we got Giuseppe here with a 49 inch 4K TV as his solo display. So not a monitor, but it still checks out. But as a whole, I'm really liking the look of his setup, going with that nice Carlby desk with the black Alex drawers. Big fan of the color theme he's got going on here. Taking a look at his peripherals, he's rocking the Corsair Gaming K65 Rapid Fire RGB keyboard, paired with the Logitech G900 Chaos Spectrum mouse, sitting on a Cooler Master Swift RX extended mouse pad. Switching over to his audio gear, he's got the SteelSeries Siberia 800 wireless headset here on a nice headphone stand. Then off to the side, you can see, got the PS4 Pro and the Nintendo Switch right by his side in case he wants to also console game on that 49 inch TV. Then neatly organized in his drawer, matching that black and orange color theme he's got going on. He has things like the controllers for the PS4 and the Xbox One, as well as his Switch. Now checking out his PC, which is called Project Zen. He said it's Half-Life theme, which is gonna explain that color scheme he's got going on. Inside is an i7 7700K CPU with an NVIDIA GTX 1080 Ti Founders Edition graphics card. We got 32 gigs of G-Skill RGB RAM, all on an Asus Maximus Hero motherboard, and nearly two terabytes of SSD space, but you just look inside at this PC and it's so well done. Everything inside is matching very nicely to that Half-Life color theme he's got. Big, big props for this. And one thing I wanted to point out is mounted underneath his desk, he has an Anchor USB Slim Hub here. Great for just plugging in things right there on the side. Nice ease of access. And underneath his desk, it is spotless. No cables in sight, pretty much. So a great job on your cable management. Keeping the desk very, very neat overall. So good stuff, Giuseppe. Starting the episode off strong here with a massive 4K TV as your main display. And I'm absolutely loving your gaming PC. Next, we have Mecha Context here, going with a very popular Dell ultra wide monitor as his main display on this sort of revamped Miami retro themed setup. And I say that because taking a look at his setup from last year, very, very true to that retro Miami themed. But now for 2017, it's revised and greatly improved. As I mentioned, his monitor is a Dell U2414H. And checking out his peripherals, that keyboard is the CM Master Keys Pro LW keyboard. He also had the Poker 3 keyboard and the throwback photo with those Miami PBT double shot keycaps on them. But his mouse Logitech G400S on a Myonix mouse pad. And his headset of choice is the PS Gold wireless headset here. Can be used on either the PS4 or his PC. And fittingly, a little fidget toy here made entirely of keycaps. Checking out the PC inside the NDXT S340 case. All I know is he has an NVIDIA GTX 1080 Founders Edition graphics card and some white ballistic sports RAM. So we don't have any more information on like what CPU he's using, but clearly going for a white and purplish theme inside to match that Miami theme, a little Stormtrooper pop figure, and the white NZXT Hue Plus for that RGB lighting inside. So a nice job keeping the interior and a lot of the hardware white as well to match everything. But I like your revamped setup, man. Definitely got a nice feel for a bedroom gaming setup. Now let's check out Han Shen's setup because this one here does a really good job of blending very sleek with modern and I love the accents of wood throughout the setup as well. This is a really top notch desk. Mounted nicely is his monitor. It's the LG 27UD68, a 4K display. Since it's mounted on that backboard there, does a great job of keeping cables out of sight. For his peripherals, you got the Corsair Gaming K70 RGB keyboard with brown switches with the Logitech G900 mouse on a Corsair MM800 Polaris RGB mouse pad. Having the RGB peripherals on that glossy white desktop is really going to make the colors pop and stand out. 
And then for audio, he's got a pair of the Bowers and Wilkins 682 S2 speakers here. And taking a look from an overhead shot on the side of his setup, a great job with the cable management with that backboard there. And having the light strip behind it, it's going to make his monitor have this floating glowing effect. We've been seeing these backboards a lot more frequently lately. Now underneath his desk he has his PC which is the Corsair Graphite 780T case and inside is an Intel i7-6850K CPU on an Asus X99 Strix ROG motherboard, 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance LED RAM in white, and an EVGA 1080 graphics card. But I always like seeing nicely braided cables here going all to this bluish white theme on the inside. So Han with a very, very sleek setup here. Again, I love the way the monitor is cleanly mounted and the glossy white desk really adds a lot to the looks of your setup. Now there's something to be said about first impressions. Cause when I first saw this, something about the warm light in that bulb, just as little as that, really made me like this setup. It gives it a very, very cozy feel. And while there's not a lot of desk real estate here, he does what he can with the space he has, and it's not cluttered at all. And he still finds ways to add some touches of personality. But checking out the gear, his monitor is a Samsung CFG70. It is a 27 inch monitor there, mounted with a bracket off to the side. And going along with the Star Wars prints behind his monitor, he's got some little figures underneath it as well. Taking a look at this per taking a look at his peripherals, he has the Corsair Gaming K65 RGB keyboard, with the Logitech G502 Proteus Core mouse and the Blue Yeti microphone off to the side for his voiceovers. As for his headphones, the AKG 712 Pro are his cans of choice sitting on this nice wooden slab. Again, just the little things like that really add up in my book. Then for a secondary pair of headphones, got the Audio-Technica M50X headphones in his drawer along with a Steam controller just in case. Now we'll check out the PC and inside the Fractal Defined S case, he has an Intel i7-5820K CPU with a Noctua NHD15 CPU cooler, keeping it very quiet because he has a lot of Noctua fans in the case as well. 16 gigs of Crucial Ballistic Sports RAM and the MSI GTX 1070 Gaming X graphics card. So a strong PC that's going to run very, very quiet as well. And then for a peek underneath, wink wink, another great job with cable management. Everybody's been stepping up their game lately. Only the ethernet cord it seems to be is on the ground. Can't do much about that, so very solid job. So I'll dub this one a very cozy bedroom Star Wars setup because of the prints and the figures underneath the monitor. Very, very nice, man. And this one is super clean and minimal for sure. White and black or possibly like a silver theme going on here with some of the accents on things like the keyboard, the PC, the mic. But let's check it out. His monitor is the Asus ROG Swift PG278 q A very, very great option if you're going to go the one monitor route. Highly recommend it. Then for his audio on each side of the display are the M-Audio BX8D2 speaker setup. And peeking in is that blue snowball mic. A very affordable microphone option. And for the rest of his gear, he has a Drevo Caliber RGB wireless keyboard. He does have it in white, but it appears he has some black ducky keycaps on them. As well as the Logitech G403 wireless mouse on the Corsair MM300 extended mouse pad, which color-wise is again still fitting in with that silverish theme. His headphones are the Philips Fidelio X2 sitting on a Subtechi headphone stand. Then off to the side, you can see his very, very tiny PC, which is like almost half the size of his speaker. I love compact builds like this. This is the N-Case M1 Silver 5 Edition case, and inside here he has an i7-7700K CPU with a Corsair H75 cooler, 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance LPX RAM in white, an Asus Strix Z270 Mini ITX motherboard, an EVGA 980Ti hybrid GPU with a few Noctua NF F12 fans on the inside. So not only is this thing very tiny, it is very cool and quiet as well. And I wouldn't be doing this setup justice if I didn't show underneath the L-shaped desk. I said it with pretty much every setup so far, but cable management locked down. You guys are killing it. So altogether, a very clean, sort of compact gaming and workstation right next to his bed. Love how you guys are keeping your setup so organized, and the aesthetics have all been on point. Oh, and quick note, this is one of the first setups in forever that didn't have anything RGB really, except for that keyboard, but the lights aren't on, it's not going crazy. So props for staying strong during these tough times. 
However, speaking of RGB, this video is sponsored by Corsair, and check out their new Corsair Glaive RGB gaming mouse that is modular. With a 16,000 DPI optical gaming sensor, the Glaive comes with three interchangeable thumb grips you can pick from to fit your hand the best. With three zone dynamic RGB backlighting and onboard storage, the Glaive provides users with great features and ultimate control. Check the link in the description down below. All right, guys, that'll do it for episode 89 of Room Tour Project. Hope you all enjoy the single monitor only edition. And feel free to comment down below on some themes you want to see me use for future episodes. If you like the single monitor only, maybe some budget episodes coming up, let me know down below. If you like this episode, definitely give it a big thumbs up to show your support. And also, while I'm at it, check the description for all the products you saw. I have it listed down there for you. Feel free to follow me on Twitter at RandomFrankP. And lastly, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Well, I'm Random Frank P. Hope you enjoyed episode 89. Have a good day.